from a day in the life of a schoolgirl to a day in the lives of 24 of Britain's loveliest models and the birth of a magazine fashion story. The ingredients are girls, plenty of those, one charted plane, a beautiful setting, and where lovelier than Northern Ireland, and one 17th century castle background. Fabric expert Cyril Lord, owner of Ballygally Castle near Larne, has the enviable job of escort on the 90-minute trip to Belfast. Be a model and see the world, for gone are the days of long hours tied to a photographer's studio. Meanwhile, the castle has been decorated for its unaccustomed role. When it was built by the O'Neill family, descendants from the ancient kings of Ulster, in 1625, they never envisaged anything like this. the exhilarating freshness of an Ulster morning, the party leaves by car for the final stage of their journey, 24 miles north along the coast road to the castle grounds. The accustomed chaos of a city morning rush hour is far from their thoughts as they savour the serenity of the countryside. Standing in ten acres of fairy tale loveliness complete with effervescent trout stream, the castle has attracted overseas visitors as well as fashion conscious local residents to the show. So here's something for every taste, even history students. The new Edwardian style pajamas. A woman's work is never done, and makeup takes as long as the rest put together, unless it's another chore like getting dressed. And with time savers like the latest seamless stockings the girls are wearing, there's no need for Jean to go to all this trouble. Carry on, Jean, you're doing fine. A detachable skirt is the feature of Ursula's outfit, appropriately called leisure wear. Made from tie ho a new fabric almost indistinguishable from silk, the outfit is equally at home, in the home, or on the beach. Besides captivating creations like that of sportswear designer Teddy Tinling, worn by Gillian on the right, the fabric will soon be put to a much tougher use, men's suits. Who knows, silk may be coming back for men. Climbing onto the castle wall in dressing gown and bare feet can be a risky business, but it's worth it. For on a fine day, the coast of Scotland can be seen from this vantage point. Illustrated photographer Russell Westwood hasn't time to admire the scenery. For him, it's one shot after another throughout the day. Whether you like your style simple or sophisticated, there's something for every taste in this collection. Dresses, we mean. So ends another chapter in the castle's history, but the occasion will remain a fragrant memory in the thoughts of the ghosts that walk within its walls. Yeah.